I haven't done too much work to this ship here. Uh, we got another control room. It's the same as the opposite side there. So, just basic control room. Same thing with the seats. Staircases again here, opposite side. So take us to the opposite side of the upper room. As well as down here, opposite side. And then, again, another reactor room here that I still need to do some work on and add some lights. Yeah, who knows, maybe I'll find it one day. <laughs> well, luckily enough for me, you're able to save blueprints on this game. So if you build a ship, you're able to save it into a blueprint menu, which you're then able to load up anytime you need or want to. So if I want to, if I, if I fly out here, I can go Control C. No. Hold on, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button there. I go up to the ship here, I can press control C. And I can just paste a copy of the ship I have. So there we go, I just copied it. I've got two of them now. Let's delete that. And then I can press control B to make a blueprint of said ship. So then I can just open up my blueprints menu and as you can see here I got a whole bunch of blueprints of ships that I have made and and or downloaded from the workshop. <coughs> so it may have been lost in space, but luckily enough I had a blueprint of it. So it was not forever gone. But yeah, uh, getting on to doing some building here now. Um, gonna do a little fly around here and take a look try to get an idea of what I want to do because it has been I'd say maybe a week now a week week to week and a half since I've actually done any work on this ship here so I want to get myself re and or orientated with how this works and also if you've never played this game before the planets are actually like legit planets so if I can uh, went a little too far there. You can see here they are legit planets. They are massive too. I'm I'm going extremely fast right now in spectator mode. If I were to go to regular speed, this right here might be regular speed. So it would take me quite a long time to get around a planet. And as you can see up there in the sky, we have like. A planet and a moon, a planet and a moon. Plus also on the other side of where we were, we had a few more planets over there as well. So the solar system I'm in has quite a few planets. And yeah, each one of them is a legitimate planet. They're quite a ways away too. Some of these planets can take, if you're going the basic vanilla speed, which is 100 meters a second, it can take you up to four hours to travel between planets if you do not, if you're not using a jump drive. Using a jump drive though, you can almost warp immediately to a planet, but if you just, if you decide just to fly from planet to planet, it can take you up to four hours. So I, I always find that really awesome that you have this like nice, large open sandbox world as well as uh, all these like fully integrated planets you can go and explore. All right, now is this where I was? Yeah, I think this is where I was. And then if I wanted to, I can go to the workshop and uh, download uh, black holes in the game. So they're basically like planets, except for they're pure black, you can't really see them. And if you get close to them, they have extremely high gravity. So I'm not too sure if you can see it, but if I go over here. Oh, yes, yeah, so there it is. Uh, let me open up my G menu here. Uh, uh, I can't see it here, but if you look down here where I have it circling, you'll have one that says P gravity. Yeah, so P gravity is planetary gravity, the one above it, A gravity, is artificial gravity. So planetary gravity, as you can see, they have gravities to the planet. 
the black hole ones will have like very very high planetary gravity they'll basically suck your ship into it and crush it and then it also kill your character because it's very very high gravity that you can't withstand you will be squished into the planet which is very cool I, I like those little features what is this over here I got floating debris got a little conveyor tube just floating here uh what javascript runtime environment eight uh what are you i don't know what you are go away so i got some more ship just floating around here too i wonder what those came from yeah enough flying around here we will get to some construction here now and we'll figure out what i want to build so we'll move back to our player camera. And I feel like I want to do some work. I kind of want to build the bridge, but I also should build the lower deck. I need to add a, uh, a docking station for smaller ships in this, this larger ship here. In case you can't tell, this is a large ship, so... Yeah, I want to work on the bottom here. I want to get something implemented into the bottom half of the ship. <clears throat> I feel like this right here could be a nice little docking area. Get some lights turned on here so it doesn't get too dark on us. Actually, what I should do... I'm going to cl quickly clear off this menu. Ready. So, we'll pull out our heavy armor blocks. Heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, and heavy armor. Get those ready to go. And then we're gonna want to go to page two here. We're gonna add some more blocks. I uh, want to add a cockpit. Pull the cockpit seat out. And what I wanted to do is I just quickly wanted to place a cockpit seat here, hop into that, and zoom out a bit here if I can. Alright, where's the sun at? The sun's right there, I want to do work on the bottom, so we're just going to rotate it, do I not? Oh wait, this is not, oh I have something. Um. Alright, uh, never mind. I'm gonna have to go find the, the main cockpit seat. So, hold on. I need to go find the seat. Where did I put the main cockpit seat? Um. I have, I have a seat somewhere in my ship here that's set to the main control seat. Not the main cockpit. Not the main cockpit. Where's the main cockpit? Is it upstairs? It might be upstairs. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think I know where it might be. Yeah, yeah. I should, I should, I should take a look in the workshop there and see if I can find uh, husky statues. A nice little husk, husky statue. Oh, here's the main cockpit. Beautiful. So let's see, where's the sun? The sun is that way, so we are going to give our ship a little rotation. All right, I'm going to press the right button here. We're going to give our ship a little rotation. Just so we have the light where we are working. Alright, so there we go, we got light down here in our work area. Driver support, hit lost driver support. Alright, so we're gonna pull out our walkway ramps. Mm, ramp. 
switch to the smooth ramp. Rotate, rotate that, and then we'll pull up our mirroring. And we want to get rid of red mirror. Get rid of the red mirror, we'll keep the blue mirror. All right. So yeah, what's nice about mirrors here is it'll allow me to basically, when I place an object here, it will also place on the opposite end of the ship. So instead of me having to fly back and forth to place stuff, I can place it here and it will be placed over here as well. Which makes building so much more easier. Place some heavy blocks there. So I'm thinking I'm going to build a hangar down here so a ship can fly up through the bottom into this hangar system that will be on the bottom of the ship. Careful where I'm placing here. I don't want to delete something that'll end up causing my ship to uh, fall apart on me. Won't be the first time I've had that happen. Just building a ship and like, oh, let's remove this block right here, and now my ship is split into two pieces. But thanks to experience in the game here, I've uh, I've gotten kind of good at being able to repair stuff like that when it happens. Like with the ship I'm building here right now. I've actually had like, like, one whole half of this ship end up get getting destroyed. I'm not too sure how it happened, but like, it got destroyed somehow. But I was able to repair it very easily and very quickly. It saved me so much stress and time. Alrighty. And we'll pull up this block here. Oh, the right buttons here. And just adding this in here so that it is a lot more cleaner looking in the bottom. And if I want to, I'll pull out some windows. Move the S there. And we want one by one flat. I want to install some windows here to make it look cool and fancy. Grab this one. Is that one by one? Yeah, it's one by one. And we should maybe make this side here look nice as well. window 